Hi everybody, welcome to this free qualifying round guide for the Eastern Odyssey Tournament here on the BK Golf Class YouTube channel. Please give me a thumb up and make sure you are a subscriber as well. It is totally free. Good amount of drops here and some tweaks and suggestions for anything that I didn't quite drop along the way. It should get you a very good qualifying round score. Remember, take a token or two, get familiar with the setups and tweak as needed according to your play style, clubs and balls. Content for the rest of the week here on the channel for experts, so don't miss out on that one as well. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. On this par four, we are going to set up with the quarterback first on the right-hand side. Red ring touching the rough on the right at the top of plus 10. Then we switch to our apocalypse and sniper bag. 5.8 top spin, three bars side spin to the right. A little bit of a nasty wind angle here but this setup will ensure a slower needle on the drive and should have you in a very good position to attack the pin for an eagle. Max plus 10, power 3, then no push-up needed here, just leave it where it is because we're finding position. With the quarterback, we're going to go full overpower with a slow needle and one ball of curl to the right. Edge of the kingmaker, you can see there, is touching the outside wall of the adjustment ring to the right. So there is your curl reference. Nice, easy way to find your start point there. And we're going along the fairway very nicely here. Drive distance is going to be around 382 yards. Second shot here, making a fringe check. Bullseye over the fringe in line with the pin. That gives me plus three yards in this instance. Then I'm going to add spin. Three back spin and three left spin. Then it's time to find our position. And here I'm going to aim with the ball guide going to the pin. But you will see here it stops a little bit short. So it's pointing at the pin, stopping around uh, just under a green square short of the pin. For plus 3 with sniper 10, that will be plus 5 with sniper 9. We're going to play 34% slider, 10% elevation. Use sniper 10 numbers. I would go 2% uh, per yard on average, 2 or 2.5% 2 per yard. For every yard difference. If you were at plus four, you're further away, so you'd probably go 36% slider. Perfect ball away, catches the fairway very nicely, get a nice camera angle, and we're dropping this one right at pin for an eagle from distance. NMT here, so load the hole with a kingmaker, or rather a titan, and the grizzly. The reason I use a titan is to set spins accurately. One and a half backspin, two right spin, then you swap to your kingmaker. Of course, you don't have to do the ball swap, but it means you've got exactly the right amount of side spin if you set with the Titan. NMT position here. Don't worry about the ball guide because I want to simplify it with the NMT. And we're going mid plus 35, power 2 numbers, grizzly 9 numbers here as well. Try and keep the wind below 8 miles per hour because of the crosswind. will increase your drop rate if you're getting it below 8 and we second bounce just on the green and this one falls nicely subject to wind angle tweaks for hole in one set up with the quarterback here as well on this par five blue ring touching the rough on the right and we're going at the top of plus 15 it's actually that's p3 max uh, switch to apoc bag and then we're adding spin 5.8 top spin and one bar left spin then we're just max plus 10 uh, you don't have to swap to a luminary, but it does help, especially if you've got APOC 4. I would really advise you to swap to a higher power ball because it's going to give you a much easier max over power needle in this very nasty wind angle. So max plus 10, P3 numbers, regardless of what ball you're using. After I've adjusted here, I push up a total of two yards, and that will be the same regardless of your club level. Full over power, you can see with a power 5 ball, I've got a slow needle. It is fairly slow with APOC 5+, plus, but it will be shaky with an APOC 4. Obviously, APOC 5, you could see I was at plus 8, so it's still not going to be totally smooth. That's why a higher power ball here might be nice, just to get you a good, nicely steady needle. Anywhere around 360 is fine, just make sure you find the fairway. Rough check here on the second shot. Ball guide in line with the pin, bullseye over the rough. This is primarily a get it to green job. Um, but you may get lucky and go uh, and get an albatross as well. But it is tough in this very difficult wind angle. I go six top spin, two left spin here. I would recommend you reduce the top spin by around half a bar if you want to try and get the albatross. But I'm going white ring touching the rough. Bull guide missing the pin by two green squares to the right. 
tip of the bull guide is going to the fringe, but obviously with a little less top spin, bull guide might well be shorter there. Uh, the reason I'd say a bit less top spin, you don't want to catch a glitch roll here, and also we come in a little bit hot for the albatross uh, outside chance. Rough check, 5% elevation, plus 3 with sniper 10, plus 5 with sniper 9, 64% slider. Use sniper 10 numbers on this one. Hit perfect, bouncing comfortably over the rough. We're not threatening it on either side. Like I said, comes in a little bit hot there, but either way, we've got a safe eagle. Very nasty wind angle. Hole in one here, we find our landing position first. Red ring touching the bunker, and the other part of the red ring, the right hand side of it touching the rough on the right. Make sure you've got those two contact points with the rough and the sand, respectively. Then we add spin and it's all about getting the ball guide right. So uh, have the ball guide in vision when you're adding spin. I want it just through the hole on the right hand side of the pin. Then we adjust mid plus five power three numbers. And again, use sniper 10 numbers for this. Always good if you can keep the wind below eight miles per hour. I've not tried this in high winds, so if you don't have any wind four balls, you might want to go with a token or two first. It may need an additional tweak, but the shot should still be safe, even if you have higher wind than eight. Perfect ball away, may need a wind angle tweak of two or two, of course, as with all of the par threes in the game, but we've got a good reference drop there for the hole in one. On the drive here, going to use the rock level 8 plus. White ring touching the rough on the left at P3 max with the rock level 8. Top of plus 15 with the rock level 9. Adding spin. Four top spin and three bars left spin. You don't have to use a king slayer here, just using it as an example here. Kingmaker is fine as well in all wins. Adjust max plus 5, power 3. Max plus 5. Power 3. Using the rock for the good accuracy here. Making our adjustment and then it's time to take our shot. Centre the ball nicely. No need for any curl. If you are worried about hitting a great right though and want to safeguard, you could go within a wall left curl. But it's up to you. It depends whether you are confident in hitting perfect or not. Like I say, if you are prone to catching a double great right, I will go with a bit of safety curl to the left. Second shot. Very tough to get the speed right here. This one will need a tweak, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going landing position plus yards. I try one and a half top spin. And I'm also offsetting to the right of the pin because the tailwind is going to push me to the left. You see there is a bit of an angle on that tailwind as well. This green, though, and this pin placement, it is notoriously difficult to get consistency on. So an albatross here... Uh, would be a nice bonus unless of course you want to spend a considerable amount more time than me trying to dial it in leaving the ball guide intentionally short here but there's a perfect ball and you can tweak from this plus five with sniper 10 playing 82 percent slider five percent elevation perfect ball away bouncing on the fairway very nicely rolling onto the green coming in a little bit hot and just glancing the right edge of the cup on this occasion Aggressive shot here, I would recommend a sawgrass ball because you're going to have a shaky needle. Six top spin, two left spin. P5 max extension, red ring touching the rough on the left with APOC 5 and 6. I would not recommend this with APOC 4, unfortunately, you are going to be stretched for distance. Uh, max plus 10 P5. If you've got a bit more top spin available, then I would use it. Uh, I would, to be honest, go 6.8 bars. Push up to max if you can. May not be possible though if you get more of a headwind angle. Sadly, it's a full overpower, full shaky needle shot. Outer wall curl to the left. With APOC 4, I would rather use the extra mile 9, to be honest, with more top spin. However, of course, you've got the accuracy issue to deal with. Great left just clears the rough. Perfect will, of course, be fine. We'll leave you an embringer wedge around 65% slider. On this par 3, we're going to go from the min line with a power 3 ball. Before spin, you just find the point where that long ball guide appears. So move to the left, you'll see it disappear. And then you just move one click to the right to get that long ball guide. Then we add spin, 2.5 top spin, half a bar of right spin. And the adjustment is min plus 30, power 3 settings. I would keep the wind below 8 miles per hour here. 
and you may need a tweak or two. This plays massively downhill, so you're going to have a bit more wind effect to deal with, with different wind angles and also wind strength. This adjustment will take you in and maybe up the slope of the bunker. Be as accurate as you can. Min plus 30, power 3, and then hit perfect. And this one is going to have a very, very good chance bouncing comfortably on the fairway. Don't worry about aiming close to the rough. And the top spin takes us onto the green, and here we drop it for a beautiful hole in one. Going to play right side here on the drive, and we're going to find our position first. APOC 5 and above are going to be at the top of plus 6 yards. APOC 5 and 6 will have the blue ring touching the rough on the left. Add spin. Now we're going to go 5.8 top spin, 3 right spin. APOC 4, you'll be at the top of plus 12 with 30% of the blue ring inside the rough. APOC 7, you will have 40% uh, of the clear ring on the fairway because your rings are a little bit smaller. Max plus 10, power 3. I want to be in grizzly range here, I'm not pushing it for the thorn. Three quarter ball curl to the right and hit perfect. Not going with any intentional overpower or circle drop or anything here. Just try and play a no overpower shot. Bouncing on the fairway, rolling over the join in the fairway there around 367. Second shot, we're going to play rings from min. So I have a rings from min chart handy. Add spin first, 2.9 backspin. Find the min line and then count up rings from min until you have the bottom of the blue ring touching the rough. There's four. There's another four, so that's eight. And then you can see we're two rings away because we had the bottom of the yellow by the rough and I want bottom of the blue. So this one is going to be ten rings from min. Aiming just uh, short of the cup there, you can see by half a green square, pointing uh, just inside the left edge because of the crosswind angle. Uh, rings from min, 15% elevation, power 3. 10 rings up from min with the Grizzly 9 is 13% slider as a reference. Great left or great right on the drive will, of course, put you a few rings out either way because of the design of the hole. So try and measure yourself. Have a chart at the ready. Perfect ball and the backspin grabs very nicely. The offset works an absolute treat. And we drop it for the eagle. For plenty of early access content, including Academy tutorials and the latest episode of my Club Guide series, join us on patreon.com forward slash BK Golf Clash. You loads of elevation charts as well and win charts for all the tournaments. Great way to support the free content here on the channel. Plenty for you over there. So please join us on patreon.com. Tough par five here, but I have an albatross to show you. APOC 5 and above will set up at the top of plus zero, blue ring touching the rough with APOC 5 and 6. 30% uh, of the clear ring on the fairway for APOC 7. Then we're going to add 5.8 top spin, 3 left spin. APOC 4, 30% of the blue ring inside the rough at the top of plus 6 there. So you've got all your references there. Max plus 15, power 3. Make sure you adjust enough rings here. You can see I've got max wind in this instance, but the driver's been fine in all Kingmaker wind strengths. So max plus 15, power 3, and then I'm going to go with uh, two ball of curl to the left just before the circle drops as the overpower reference. Look at the T in relation to the adjustment ring for an additional reference if you don't want to estimate the amount of curl. Draw a vertical line down from the T. Look at where it insects that dent in the shot circle. Perfect ball away. You're going to go into the tree shadow around 370 yards. Second shot, we're going to add spin first, which I will show you in a second, and then we will deal with the aim. I'm going in the end with three and a half back spin and three right spin. We're going to use landing position plus yards for our adjustment. And you can see I'm offsetting here to the right of the pin. Tip of the ball guide touching the edge of that dark green square column, and it's also slightly short of pin. So pause the video, get a good reference there. Adjustment is going to be 80% uh, slider, 10% elevation. That's for plus 6 with sniper 10, plus 8 with sniper 9, and you will always be needing to use sniper 10 numbers. Tough shot to drop, though, here in this crosswind. If you get this one in, it's going to be a real bonus on your scorecard. Bouncing comfortably on the rough, don't want to adjust too much into the bunker here, hence the offset, and we're dropping it right at the pin. 
Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clanmates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.